Hi there, it's Ina here and it's time to do something with those extra Christmas balls we all have. Especially if you don't want to keep them until next year. I think they make great all year around uh, room decorations. Especially in my art room, which is very artsy as it is and very colorful. So um, that's what I had in mind when I bought these. I bought them very cheaply at a secondhand store just before the holidays. And I especially like these because they're a bit oversized. So let me show you the two I already completed. They are rather simple and yet have several layers. This one has strips of book pages and that took me a little while to make sure it really stuck to the surface but it did with gel medium and then afterwards I added some of my turquoise paint, rubbed some off with a baby wipe, added some uh, copper paint and also some glitter. There's some liquid glitter as well as some uh, loose glitter right here on the top. And the little hanging device I painted with some enamel black paint. So here's one. And this one I added some napkin. It was actually a pretty flowery napkin, but I went overboard with all the colors, so you can't see a whole lot of that anymore. But this has all kinds of different paints on it, from craft paint to glimmer mist to vivid ultra metallics, I added some liquid pearls, all kinds of different things. And it has some glitter too, and on the very top, a much darker color. Not the way it came out. Again, black enamel for the top. And the third one, I haven't started yet because I wanted to do this with you. And I added a string, I did this with the other ones too. That way, if I'm through one layer and it needs to dry, I can just hang it somewhere and let it dry and that makes working with it way easier. So I want to stick with texturing these. This one was book pages, this one was napkin, and I think here I'm going to try to add some of my texture paste. So join me!
my set is completed and ready for me to hang up in my art room. I really enjoyed making this one. I think the texture paste works super well on the surface and it really gave it a nice effect and gave me some new ideas too because apart from these tiny little beads anything bigger would attach itself very easily within this uh, texture paste like bling or string or images or die cuts or whatever you might want to use. I think there's a lot of possibilities to of course decorate them in even much more detail. Now I wanted these for myself and for my art room so I went mainly for color and texture but of course if you would want to make something like this for kids room it would look completely different. You might use fun images. You want to do it for a living room. You might color code it with whatever else you have in your room. So I think there is um, endless possibilities and I hope you found this idea helpful. I think that's it for today. There will be some pictures coming so you can see what they look like uh, in my art room. See you soon again. Bye bye.